charge it to the underhills. <laughs> We're handed a rum punch. Yeah, handed a rum punch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm breathing. <laughs> Alright, so don't don't light a match. Sorry. Every time Simone comes, she bakes more than a hundred rum cakes. St. Martin, it's windy. windy. Yeah, so we're gonna do fun excursion, shore excursions uh, group. We'll have to put a link in the description for sure. But it's a rum tour, lunch, and then you go to the beach that where the planes fly right over your head. So this should be fun. Yeah, it's very windy though. What Holy God. Look at this yacht. I think my hat's gonna fly off. Yeah, and if you've been on this ship, let us know. Morella Explorer 2. But Ooh. check out this ship. That's fancy. You think that's a many million dollar yacht? We'll take two. <laughs> Put it to the Underhills account. <laughs> let me know if you know that reference. Charge it to the Underhills. <laughs> Seven Seas. So that's a Regent ship. And then we have a, is it pronounced? Aida. 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 Let us know. Aida. Aida. No, Aida. I think it's Aida. Diva. Diva Diva. Yeah. Holy cow. That is quite the yacht. Wow. The St. Martin landscape. Check it out. Mountains, hills. Look at the houses on top of this mountain. Oh, and they say St. Martin is split down the middle, half Dutch, half, half French. French. <laughs> so it's like two countries in one. Wow. booked a private excursion uh, but you know anyone can book it and there's nobody nobody here we hope we're in the right place 
but there's like three buses across there. Nobody. So it's, I don't know. If we are the only two on one of these big buses, that's gonna be really weird. film King Kong. Oh yeah. It was filmed there in the 1970s. So atop the hill there was the home of Kong. dropped off at our rum tasting facility. And with, we were handed a rum punch. Yeah, handed a rum punch, so bam. And she's told us to just come outside and have a seat. She'll grab us in 15 minutes for our rum tour. That's pretty good. So. All right, let's grab a seat. Oh, that's real good. Look at this place. This view is pretty good, and we're just chilling out for 15 minutes. Look at that. Yeah. That's amazing. So let us jump in right here and just tell you right off the bat, this is going down as one of the best excursions we've ever had. So we'll put the info in the description. You definitely want to book this. It was so, so fun. Our tour guide that we had was very informative and interactive with the group. And she told us the history of Topper's Rum and how the couple met and how the wife was a chemist and then she made all these award-winning uh, rum recipes. Yeah, so we did get to try everything you see along the wall there. You just had to say which one you wanted to try. And bring your glasses <laughs> because we actually had a little trouble seeing what was on the wall. Um, but as long as you could see it, you could ask for it. We got to try a lot of samples. Oh, all right, this is uh, all this. <laughs> I think the whole thing will be a I'm mean, gonna taste a little peanut butter uh, notes or notes. No. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is from the barrel. See. So it's a woman card, you can put that in. And it's uh, like caramel notes. Wow. Take a picture of the woman, but leave it. Yeah, the C. See how Do you want to try a C? Holy moly. What's a C? It's from the barrel. Oh boy, I smell it. Try that one. Oh, I smell it. Oh boy. All right, C is not smooth. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe it's smooth. I don't know. No, it's like burning my nose. What's the alcohol on C? I feel like I'm breathing fire. I feel like I'm breathing fire. All right, so don't don't light a match. Good thing I had somebody lead me back to the room. Wow. So in the middle. Can I take Ooh. a mark? It's an advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Marshmallow. And you look very uh, it, skill or skill, no, you look very debonair. No, she uh, said she shade. said the, the only way I can read the bottles on the wall is if I have my glasses. <laughs> Uh, yes. So we're gonna go to the room. Oh, there's a chocolate flavor. We are using the banana, vanilla, cinnamon oh. to make our drunken shrimp salad. Okay, I was looking forward to the banana one. It's a very subtle banana. 
Oh, that's nice. All right, we may have to get a bottle. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think of the banana? And it's also a trash can, so you can throw your empty cups in. It's also a trash can, you can throw your empty cups in. So I'm keeping count. Do. I'm gonna <laughs> see how big the stack is. Okay, that's fine. A lot, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. So the beautiful Simone, that you see right over here, she is the one who it's makes all of the rum cakes oh, yeah. from the banana, vanilla, cinnamon. Every time Simone comes, she bakes more than a hundred rum cakes in a little tiny oven over there. Oh, oh yes. Oh, so cute. They smell amazing. Yeah, they smell lovely. That's why it smells like a bakery in here. Yes. The cake is fresh, very moist. Oh. Yeah. It's oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, the real one. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, hats off to her. Mm. Mm. Way to go, Simone. Yeah, that's good. That's a long cake. Okay. Okay. Right now you can take yes. Delicious rum cake. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. amazing. It's like very soft, very fresh, very nice. moist. Oh, yeah. The rum cakes come in those cute little bun cakes. If you don't open this plastic bag, the cake will stay fresh and moist for more than three months. If you do it inside of your freezer, it stays up for more than six months. Yes. So right in time. Christmas. Oh, right. yeah. Everyone's yeah. getting rum cake. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah give the yeah. chef a great applause. And it's oh. like really delicious. Yeah. 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 With fresh vegetables and with white rice. Oh. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh ma'am. Can you go ahead and take the pineapple? The one pineapple. Well, we'll, we'll have to do this at home then. Butter and, and uh, the liqueur. Salt, pepper, cayenne. They say our trouble is tropical rum. Mm. It's tropical rum. Mm. Yeah. 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 The tropical rum by itself. Oh, yeah. This is your rum cake. Oh. She says you can't taste the alcohol, which is the bad part. <laughs> it's Mr. Top. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, guys, good. Good, good. good. Should be in about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I love your haircut. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, every, you every, every girl I know got hair down there. You know, the first one, it looks oh. decent. Oh, I'll have to bleep that. <laughs> you look great. Oh. Have fun, guys. Oh, great room. Thank you. You're in with the best. Uh, I, she's she fantastic. is. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love her. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, like, oh, oh, Mr. Yes, it is a stopper. <laughs> I agree with him completely. <laughs> then we're going to go to the next flavor. The white chocolate raspberry. Oh. Oh, yeah. White chocolate raspberry oh. will be the sweetest rub that we are having. But with this one, you taste the alcohol a little bit more than you do with the banana, vanilla, cinnamon. You can see there's like a pink tint on it. That is because we use it with fresh raspberries. We make it. Very interesting. Thank you. Did you like the rum cake? Yeah, we'll have to get this as good So we'll be leaving with rum cake. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. I'm going down to the ATM. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It is. I have this one at home, and trust me, I have almost every single bottle at home. <laughs> I mix this with champagne and prosecco. Oh, oh. I love oh. <laughs> Yes, I do this in my cheesecakes, in my Ooh. white chocolate raspberry cheesecakes. Yeah. And I mix this at home with cranberry juice. Yeah. Yes, and right over here I have white chocolate raspberry rum infused gelato. So this gelato is 21% of alcohol. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's all. That's good. Rum and stuff. cheese gelato. Thank you. We did need more Thank rum wow. on the tour, so. Yeah, well, we just got off the cruise. That is so good. Wow. It's awesome. But who doesn't like gelato? 
I've never cooked either. It's brand new. First time. First time. First time. I don't believe it. With the seasoning. I'm glad you told us after we ate the chicken. It was on, on point. Thank you, yeah. I don't like that. So what do you think of the gelato? That very, is very good. Very good smooth. Very good smooth. Doesn't burn. Yeah, Slap yeah. some of that on the rum cake. <laughs> Where's the alcohol? Yeah. 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 You said it was there, but it just yes. kind of went right into it. It has 21% yeah. alcohol. Yeah, it didn't taste it. You didn't yeah. taste no. it? No. Then, oh, we're going to go to the coconut oh, like rum. Uh, coconut rum is the smoothest rum that we are having. Yes, alcohol base is 55%. But we need to slow that down to 21% with purified water. But with the coconut rum, we do it with the coconut water, what is inside of the local coconuts that we are using. Yes? Into the restaurant, we are using the coconut rum to make the coconut shrimp. So we let the shrimp soak in the coconut rum. Then we deep fry them. And then we serve it with our piña colada. Dipping sauce. Oh, yes. Goodness. Pina colada right. dipping sauce is made out of sour cream, crushed pineapples, yeah. coconut rum, and salt. Oh, it smells coconutty. Came in the right place. Oh. Bam. It's uh, 11. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Awesome. That's yeah. nice. It's made with coconut water. It's the smoothest. That's very good. That's awesome. Right. Okay, oh, that's that's <laughs> and this one, I really love to mix this one with orange juice. Oh, orange juice. Or orange juice. So this is a cracker with a piña colada dipping sauce that we okay. serve with the shrimp. With the shrimp. Oh. It is so good. Oh, yeah, I like that. So it's sour cream. Crushed pineapples, crushed pineapples, coconut rum, oh, oh, wow. and salt. It's great Next. as frosting over the rum cake. <laughs> and also um, fresh fruits like strawberries, mangoes, pineapple, white grape, banana. I make chocolate cake, brownies, tiramisu. Um, I also do it in cho hot chocolate or in my coffee. I would be so fat. And <laughs> <laughs> then you have to exercise a lot and I then you can drink. Or you can do it over some vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Thank you. I think Laura is like a, a, sh a shot. You can have to exercise six days a week instead of three. <laughs> I think three is enough. I think I need to oh. start. Yeah. <laughs> This one's really good. Well, they're all really good, but this one. Oh, wow, what is this? Yeah, this is the, co the, the mocha, mocha, oh. mocha mama. Oh, I like this baby. Yeah. All right, that's good. Oh, yeah, I would definitely put this in my coffee and mm -hmm. my ice cream. Yeah. There you go, half a good work. Here, what is hanging on the wall? That is our purified water system. And we got to see their very small bottling facility, which is run by these two ladies right here. Yeah, totally by hand. And then she's showing us what we could buy as gifts. Those bottles right there are all the ones you can find in the total wine outlets in the states. And to close out the tour of the bottling facility, we got to have one more sample before moving on. We can do what we like, like. And to conclude our tour, we got to try all 12 of these samples seen right here. These are not found in stores, very exciting. Let's watch.
and the tour even included a wonderful lunch. Which we had like five minutes to eat so we could catch our taxi to Maho Beach. Oh, this looks fantastic. Look at this. What did she say? It was the vinaigrette? Mm hmm. I'm for it. Is it sour? Oh, wow. We got a big bird coming in. Right. Oh, I see it. Dude, look here too. Oh. Oh. That was awesome. This is insane. We just it's had totally a huge crazy. plane just fly over us. It's crazy. It is not. Crazy. Awesome. Let and us these, know if you've been here. Yeah, St. Martin, uh, Maho Beach, and these waves. These waves are nuts. something we never seen before planes so low flying over us two jets yeah. flying over us and they're smaller planes but the waves Favorite spot. Yeah, Maho Beach with the aeroplanes, so oh. much fun. Yeah, yeah. It's never been yeah. our first time. It's oh, awesome. It's so yeah. cool. Uh, <laughs> yes. We didn't get to see a plane take off, but we saw several. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the coming in's bad. Yeah. 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 It's so know. cool.
right, so today, very fun. St. Martin, first time. And we couldn't have picked a better excursion. I hope we didn't fangirl out too much. We got to meet Ben and David with Cruising with Ben and David. Yeah, so we met Ben and David. We met uh, Paro DJ, hey, Hughes cruisers. cruisers. And then we also had some planes fly right over us, which was crazy. And then the Toppers uh, rum tour and lunch. And Fantastic. Mr. Topper was amazing. Yeah, yeah that was all awesome. So, so we just didn't get to meet uh, Melanie, the wife who actually creates the too. rooms. Yeah. We did not get to see her. So so couldn't recommend it. We'll put the link to the uh, excursion in the description. Couldn't recommend it more because it included the rum tour, lunch, and the trip to Milo Beach. But we're half hour from on board time and that's the closest we've been. So let's go. Yeah, we have 35 minutes. We don't normally cut it this close. I mean, it's not close, but closer close than us. normal. So let's go get back on the ship. This is our our last port of call, and then two sea days. Two sea days home to the pups. Oh, puppy. Welcome back! Welcome back! I see you too. I see hey, you. Hey, Welcome home, <laughs> friends! Welcome home! So we do like the starfish here. Well, it does with fruities. Yeah. Oh, and the seahorse. Oh, I didn't even notice that. And there's right. a fish. All right, like the plate. That's really cool. Bubbly water. <laughs> oh, and your plate is, are those scallops, you think, or? Let us know what that is. Right, tuna. A good looking bread service. Look at that. You guys got the tuna? Good. Oh. Oh. These look really good though. Holy cow. Right, so this is toasted with Parmesan. Okay. I think we're gonna like the bread. Andrea has the mac and cheese, lobster mac and cheese, right? Lobster mac and cheese. Lobster mac and cheese. I have scallops. And we have our friend here, Eric, and our friend Enrique. <laughs> so this is uh, scallops. We weren't supposed to get that, but it is fantastic. Is that salt under it? Yeah, it looks like salt like the oysters. Hmm. Yeah, it is good. I would say that one's better than the mussels, so 
But that's See, work. That is work. A little bit. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's if you really like them. Or, well, it's like if you can't decide between muscles or the scallops, I would say the scallops. Oh, seafood biz. How is it? Awesome. And you have the lobster. Oh, the calamari. Oh, so Andrea wanted the calamari. Yeah, let us know. Um. If it's chewy, then it's usually a no sale for us. Not bad. Not bad? All right, all right. Do you want to try it? I'll try one. Is there another tiny one? Going in with fingers. I got marinara here too. This is really, really good. I've had this before, and it's it's not too heavy. You know, when you're, when you're doing plenty of all of this, it's good to kind of keep it on a certain level. So. Oh, it looks fantastic. Drawn yeah. butter, lemon. Yeah. All right. A whole lot of lobster right there. All right, that does not look bad, <laughs> let's just say. Holy cow, look at that. Get a bite of the lobster crab, the sauce, maybe even a little that. It was pretty good? Yes, and I tell you, like, it looks lovely, but I don't need the mound of hollandaise sauce. Chocolate bread pudding. Yeah, bread pudding. And I don't know what that is, but like, geez, looks like a taquito. But it kind of looks similar to the bitter and black from the main Oh, yeah. Dining. Yep. And then I have chocolate layer. Definitely looks nice and chocolatey. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, looks like an egg in the nest or something. It's something going on. All right, so Eric is showing us that this is actually a touch screen, yeah. which we did not know. It'll tell you where each ship is currently at this time right now. You got even the ones that are being refitted for Carnival right now. Well, that's crazy. Well, that's cool. Oh, that's the new one. I don't Oh, check this out, everybody. This is new. This has not been here all cruise, and all of a sudden it pops up. Yeah, this one's. Yeah, they kind of outdid themselves. I like all this. They asked me how many pieces in a 10 piece meal. Uh. <laughs> uh. I said, I think it's nine, but let me go check. <laughs> I would eat the 10th piece in the bathroom until my sadness was gone. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I really am fine. <laughs> but, uh, Calvin. What is... Erectorine. Uh, <laughs> I dig, bro. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's an Irish poncho. Thank you. <laughs> uh. So what happened was... At all, uh, when they went to Scotland, they mixed with the Scottish. So a thaw actually means to be one eighth Scottish. Calvin. Oh boy. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> um, this. <clears throat> uh, this may not come as a surprise to any of you, but um, I didn't have any friends in high school. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, my mother once told me that Rosemary had a better baby. <laughs> it was a cesarean baby and 
She used to make me get out of the car going through the sunroof. <laughs> this was Liars Club, so please keep that round of applause going for our panel this evening. Happy Cole, Billy D. Washington, and Calvin, who's rushing off the chicken tender night. All right, day five, end of the night. Uh, woke up early this morning, took a, an excursion to Tapper's Rum Distillery. Even got the meat. Mr. Tapper, very friendly fella. Tour guide was amazing. We'll put the link in our description. Um, and they had a really nice lunch for us. We then hopped over to uh, Maho Beach where you got to see the airplanes fly over us. That was pretty cool. Um, came back on board. We had dinner tonight at Rudy's Seagirl. That was our first time. It was kind of a miss for us. So let us know if you've been there before and what you think of it. Um, I had the crab cake. It was, you know, it was okay. Um, Andy had the stuffed lobster and he said it was kind of overdone. So let us know what you think about Rudy's if you've been there before and maybe we just had a bad night there. So met up with a friend for dinner. So thanks for hanging with us, Eric. And went back and um, saw Reggie play again. Stayed up kind of late. It's about 12.30 a.m. We went to the Grand Spectrum Theater. Saw Liars with uh, the DJ, the comedian on board, Calvin, and Lee, your cruise director, as the host. So pretty good. Long day, tiring night. So thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and two CDs to go. So we'll see what we do tomorrow. Thanks for watching.